What's up, YouTube? Check, check. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Crypto Kirk coming at you with a quick hitter, Thorn Coin. Showing you my dashboard right now. It ain't shit. It's all good. Reason I'm coming at you is saw my boy Oracle. Yeah, I'm a subscriber. Saw my boy Oracle touting it, been touting it. Now he's got a new ICO out, which is fair and square. That's fine. Got to do your thug dizzle. I'm cool with it. But one of his last videos, he said that there's barely any negative videos on Thorncoin. And he was scrolling up and down the YouTube pages. So that basically made me want to put... Uh, not a completely negative, but a questionable video on Thorncoin, let's say. And the one thing that caught my eye, which made me want to put this video up, is if I go to exchange, obviously we know it's disabled to, due to the maintenance, but, you know, I'll still fuck around. I'll still try to sell something. Um... So when I click sell, I remember earlier today, I clicked sell and this was, I'm almost certain, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments guys, but I'm about 99.9% .9 certain this said it was a thousand for 24 hours. So sometime from this morning to tonight, they've changed it. They've added a zero. So I don't know. I did have they explained it in one of their updates? I'm not sure. But, you know, that just caught my eye. And, you know, with the, all the crap that's going on, and not just in lending, but in the crypto market in general, I feel I have a good eye for things. My attention to detail is, uh, you know, it's in the top percentile, I would say. And with 2018, my gut says it's going to be a treacherous year. It's it's going to be something similar to an enemy minefield. And if you're not navigating it properly, it will eat you up. And you will be blown to smithereens. Crypto is an unforgiving space. There's so much crap out there. Your head has to be on a swivel. If you're new, you need something, someone qualified to hold your hand. Now, I'm not saying I'm qualified by any stretch of the matter. But what I am saying is... I win more than I lose. And with all the hogwash that's going through the crypto world, especially the lending and staking crap. Now I'll still play them when the timing is right and I feel like the market's back up and uh, you know, let me get paid on a, out on a couple of these and I'll jump back in. But, you know, to, I mean, I don't know, to tout, 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 thorn coin, thorn coin, thorn coin, um, that's just the latest and greatest. That's the next one up. And I'm still waiting for Libra. Libra is fucking... Libra had $32 in 24-hour uh, volume today. Are you kidding me? Um, come on, guys. Let's market that shit. Let's get the word out. And the other thing is, is some people say that we don't want an external exchange. Well, yeah, we do. In a time like this, when the market is crap, nobody knows what the fuck LibraCoin.io is. Are you kidding me? Go to their hype stat, stats and they get maybe a few thousand uh, unique, unique subscribers a day. And, and who knows if that's true. So, yeah. An external exchange is important because... Some some an exchange that's obs as obscure as Ether Delta probably still has 
millions of, of uh, members. So compared to the 2,000 unique visitors to your fucking website, get your name on the external, which is not going to happen anymore because after the war, no exchange is taken on a lending platform. I don't care how what what words you use. I don't care what you call it. No one's taking you on. So it's over. I mean you're gonna have to completely revamp yourself. And unless there is enough hype, and you know, Thorncoin does have hype. Don't get me wrong. It does have hype. It has legs. It has legs. It's got a shot. But something like this where you know, you add a zero overnight when everyone's sleeping. You know, I gotta double check if it's updated on the Telegram. But if it's not, that's shady business to me. You know, the the little bug where people were accidentally selling Thorn for five cents. For one cent, you know. That little bug, That's that's questionable. You mean you do all that homework to, to, you don't even hit the 18th. You don't hit even hit February 18th. And then the night before, two hours ahead, you have a minor bug. Then, and then you end up selling. People end up accidentally selling it for a cent. Come on. Come on. It's, uh, it's beginning to be always something with these guys with these platforms so like I said until someone something hits I mean you could top 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 tout it all you want but all we're doing is trying to maintain the hype and it's losing its luster fast so I just wanted to point that out that extra zero right here that's shady business I don't care what anybody says um, what else what else did I want to talk about? Oh yeah, okay, so here we are. This is what I wanted to show you. So, ZIU. ZIU. That's basically what it is. ZIU. ZIU. So, okay. ZIU. Basically the sound of a fast moving car. Okay. You know what ZIU is? ZIU. That's what they're going to do with your money if you deposit in this fucking ICO. Okay? <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That's what's... They're going to... ZIU. Your money gone. So, the future is now... The future is your pockets are empty. And it belongs to ZIU. That's what the future is. So... One day, three hours left. You know, if I'm going to bring an ICO to you guys, a legit one, this, just, this is me personally. It's going to probably be KYC, Colonel Sanders, and it's not going to be with 30 hours to spare. Okay? You're going to have plenty of time to get your money right, to get your Colonel Sanders in, get approved, get situated. You know, the fact that the pre-sale doesn't have a KYC, but then the ICO does. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Wake up. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. The zoo sound. It's the sound of anything moving so fast, like, zoo Like, they had to recapitalize that shit. What else we got? I was trying to be an Uber. Also, it's trying to com it's trying to compete with Uber and Amazon with the drone delivery. I got you. I got you. So basically, a sound effect company name. 
okay 215 billion dollar on-demand delivery market right globally roughly one out of ten individuals order stuff online okay let's close this Two hundred fifteen billion USD current global market size. Okay, but here, here's where it gets funny. I mean, this is laughable. So one out of ten individuals order stuff online, right? But wait, thirty percent of people order stuff online in 2018 so 10% online and then it's 30% online then it's 3 out of 10 right oh but hold on then 61% then are, so basically guys it's 10% plus 30% plus 61 so there's a hundred and one percent of the people they order the stuff that from the online okay so this is it guys this is what I want to spend 50 cents on oh because they're gonna offer me a 50 percent discount um, I don't know I don't know 20 rounds just quick hitters it seems like one after another I don't know I don't know traditional ICOs nowadays in today's market they're hitting the exchanges for half of what they were at the ICO so why would you go in zoo why would you go in zoo when you got a, a day left you see how it's uh you see how you're left with uh, barely any time to think do you ever wonder why Okay, there's a rush to get in. There's a buildup. Okay, there's that FOMO. Okay. Guys, keep your eyes open, head on a swivel, attention to detail. Let me show you something else. Hype stat. Hype stat. ICO.zu.eu. That's the website. It receives about 20 unique visitors and 40 page views per day. Per day. Two page views per visitor. So I I was just right now probably 20% of their their views in the last two minutes. Um I'm not making this shit up guys. 20 daily visitors. I mean, this ain't, it's not even worth looking at it. This is for a traditional ICO. Okay. So, yeah, not even worth. I don't even care when it was created. That's all bullshit because this, it's not even, this is not even a traditional ICO. I mean, there's no KYC. Everyone's a KYC these days. Um, guys, don't put your money in it, please. Please, let's be smart about this. Yeah, I mean. Whatever. Don't even care about the team. I'll probably look up their other, some other stats. Do they have a, <clears throat> do they have a, a telegram chat room are they active you know as much as as much as we're asked to stay out of Twitter and telegram how are you gonna get the latest news yeah there's crap there but you weed through it you weed through it you find the golden nuggets of information and you use it to your advantage 
to say to stay off of Twitter and out of Telegram when you're dealing with crypto is ridiculous. Ridiculous, with all due respect. So, like I said, I wouldn't get in this questionable tactics by Thorne. And I will finish by saying this, okay? Oracle, Crypto Guru, Yardy Williams, and I say that in jest. Crypto Freedom Project and whoever else I have learned a lot from. Okay. Though that gang will always have a place in my heart. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it professional. When I see something that I don't like and I feel like I need to step in and do something about it, by golly, that's what you're getting right now. So That's where, that's where we're at. That's what made me put this video. I hope it gets some a good amount of views. I hope it gets spread. I think it needs to be. And all I'm saying simply is, I urge people to not invest in this particular ICO. And as a matter of fact, be leery of the entire market in general there's going to be a lot of ups and downs this year and a lot of us are new and need to be very cautious and play it of utmost safeness otherwise our heads are going to get chopped off there's so many shark out there And this is my way of letting you know that, you know, I think I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna grow a channel. I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I got a keen eye for this shit. I'm gonna call people out on their bullshit, and um, I'm gonna be the people's champ, guys. Here I come.